Hi, Rick here. Today we're going to take a look at Tell Me Why, another John Lennon strumming song. Uh, the Beatles used a lot of sevenths, diminished, augmented chords, um, especially John. And uh, I don't know, I, I know if you're like me and you've read a lot of stories about the Beatles and stuff, uh, I know that John Lennon's mother, Julia, played the banjo and she first introduced him to playing and she showed him some banjo chords. Now, a lot of people might think banjo chords are simple, but I tell you, I played in a polka band for a couple of years and we played a lot of sevenths, augmenteds, minors, diminished, a lot of chords you had to know. So I got a feeling that John picked up a lot of his sevenths and diminished and things that you hear throughout his songs from his mother. This song starts out with a little drum roll, then it goes like this. E minor 7, A 7, it's almost all 7s through the whole song. Now I play the E minor, you could go to the A 7th the proper way, which would be... But I do everything the lazy way, I just go... I'm already there, so I just put my finger down. It's faster. So the song starts with that typical Beatles strumming, down, 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 up, down style. Starts with that, but quickly changes from there. gets into the verse, starts with the chorus, like quite a few Beatles songs do. Starts with that chorus, then it gets into the verse, and it does a different style of strumming. It does... Of course, he doesn't play it like that. John's hand is always moving, and it sounds like this. Bridge. Does that thing on the D7, just a simple D7, then it goes to a G7, A7, B minor. Drum thing, da 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 da. Again. Comes to the ending. What I love best about this song is the ending. It's so cool. I mean, they could have just done this. It would have been cool enough if they did it. just did. been cool enough but John added a whole cool thing to that it plays B minor twice then B flat and B flat 7 then A and A6 and then ends on the D now he's playing down here and you think he might be going and so on but if you listen carefully you know if you're ever having trouble figuring out what position to play a chord in just listen to the highest note you hear when you play play it down here the highest note I hear is this but then when I listen to the record I hear this so it's obviously playing it up here So cool the way that comes in.
Very cool ending. I love that part of the song. Fun song to play. Uh, pretty pretty easy. All sevens except for that one six. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again next time. Until then, just keep on strumming. Thank you.